Iduru, Iboya, Ibuche, everybody in Cyberland. It's your favorite Bamalao. At least I hope so. Omo don't dileke coming at you with another one. But today I wanna I wanna focus on a specific item, and that's gonna be the end of the year. The end of the year is very important because um, there's a lot of different aspects spiritually that we need to understand and there's a lot of different things that go into an end of year ritual for people within our faith. For example, within the point of view of Ifa, we understand that the solar system, the earth, the rotational pull, the atmosphere, um, you know, the universal aspect of things affect the way the earth moves. You know, we've created a calendar, a Western civilization calendar, which we now follow today in 2020. And why is that? Well, because remember, we all have egg wounds. And egg wounds didn't just die today. They didn't die 100 years ago. They didn't die 1,000 years ago. They died from many different aspects and different walks of life. No different than your egg wounds. Could be Muslim, could be Christian, Abrahamic religions, nature religions. It doesn't matter. Your egg wounds come from different walks of life. Why is that an important aspect to understand? Because a lot of people would question, what is the end of the year? A lot of people will question, what is it that we're supposed to do at the end of the year? I want to squash a couple of rumors. One, because we set up the calendar the way it is, and in this faith we respect egg wounds, those who are past the spirits that live in everything in nature, um, we will continue to follow the calendar that's in place based on the rules that mankind has set up. Why? Because mankind is a creation of God. And we will follow that train. We're not going to go ahead and fight the grind on that one. That's one. Two, we need to respect the, the spirits of yesterday, no different than the spirits from a thousand years ago. And they were born under the same calendar that you and I look at today as a reference. Additionally, when the calendar was created, it was created to better understand how the world rotates and how the four seasons are placed. But more importantly, why we care is because it's a celestial event. The end of year marks different ends of seasons, um, aspects of lunar um, motions, aspects of the solar system itself. Why is that important? Because we understand that within this faith, we need to follow our destiny. Like I've told many people, when we went to the foot of God and said we wanted to become part of what's going on down there, and down there was earth, okay? Um, he gave us that, all right? He gave it to us. And when we got here, we forgot a lot of different things. And I make that known because uh, it's a very important aspect of our faith, especially for those who have their warriors and their mano de orula, right? Awobaka for men, ikofa for women. Why? Because this is gonna be the month where I want you to start to evaluate your ita, start to evaluate what is your odun in ifa, what is the destiny you're supposed to be walking, start to refresh your mind. Additionally, right before the end of the year, it's important that you get a consultation, get all the bowls done that you need to get done so you can start this new celestial year, right, in the right foot. Get yourself all cleaned up, all beautiful. Get all the uh, the divinities and the spirits, everybody walking in the right direction so that you can enter the new year right. Then, when you're in the new year, I want you to go ahead and get another consultation before the end of the first month of the year, in January. So before January is over, get yourself another consult to see what else is there that you can do in order to prep for the rest of the year. Ask Ifa. A lot of people will tell you, wait for what we call la letra de año, 
right? You have one in Cuba, they do one in Miami. Um, people are doing it in South America in a couple of places. They're gonna do it in Africa. Um, and a lot of people look towards the letra de año, the, uh, the, the, the sign of the year. Um, and that's okay. I don't mind if you want to compliment another consultation, basically, right? Another uh, divin uh, divination with who you are. But do not ever forget who you are. You each have your own Odun. Follow that first. Ask Ifa, how do I enter the new year right? Then ask Ifa, okay, now we're in the new year and I want to make sure that I stay in the right foot. What do I need to know? What do I need to do? That way... You have a firm understanding of where you're going to go for the year. And you enter it right. Whether it's baths, whether it's uh, attending uh, eggums, whether it's uh, feeding warriors or, or your mano de orula. There could be many different aspects to that consultation because it's all based on your ori. Your ori will talk. Your ori is like an antenna. And it's transmitting with all the divinities to see what is it that you need to be successful. So there it is. My advice to you. This month should be the month of reflection. Who are you? Are you walking properly based on your Ita if you have Manu de Arula? All right? And get a consultation whether you have Manu de Arula or not to figure out how you need to enter this new year. Clean yourself up. Get all rid of all that the nastiness that is 2020 and let's enter the new 2021 right with clean shoes with focused minds spiritual eyes seeing what's ahead of you that is my advice to you and for many of you who don't know i will continue with the help me help you series i will keep pushing forward i also want you guys to help me out with something else there's a lot of material that I want to share with my viewers. A lot of materials. But I'm missing 120 more subscribers. I need to be able to hit 1,000 subscribers. So hit like, hit share. All right? Tell your friends. Tell your mother. Tell your father. Whoever. So that we can get these 1,000 subscribers. So I get my community tab. And I can start actually sharing material with you. All right? There you go. What to do in New Year's, what to look forward to. I'm hoping to get my 120 viewers so I can start the New Year right. Teaching you and helping you and so you can help challenge me so I could be better. And in the process, we both benefit. So with that said, please take my words of advice. Get those consultations. Understand your Ita. Start the New Year right. Like, share, subscribe. Buru boy, Abu Cheche. As always, you guys can always hit me up at la dot regla dot de dot ifa at gmail dot com. L a dot r e g l a dot d e dot i f a at gmail dot com, and we will hit you up. So with that said, many blessings. Ache, Buru boy, Abu Cheche, Cyberland.